And we went to go put the harness on him, and immediately he tried to bite my husband. Bonjour, you beautiful thing. Welcome back. Video number five, numero cinco. And yes, I'm in my car. And you might be thinking, why might that be, Evan? To which I would say, uh, if you have children, you would know exactly why I'm recording this video in my car. Okay, quick recap. If you missed video one, two, three, or four, video one, we did. We figured out that group classes and Google searches can create more anxiety and complications. Video number two, we got right into the nitty gritty of training and created a little program for you to start reconnecting with your dog. Video three was the secret of the jimmy hand and video four you got the blueprint which is just a lifesaver makes life so much easier when training your dog in this video we're going to do something different you're going to get to meet steffler's mom steffler is a, a foster dog a rescue dog a bully breed he's got all the titles all the things working against him all this breed specific legislation and whatnot we won't go down that road but when you have a powerful dog and they have they're showing signs of aggression, you have a very short period of time to work with those dogs. This is the story of Steffler and how he, within, in a very short period of time, learned to be friendly and to listen and have a relationship with his foster mom, who I found at the end became his forever mom. Pretty cool. Check it out. Um, we got the text message and they're like, hey, we have a dog and he's not doing great with his current fosters. So, uh, <laughs> you good? <laughs> you ready for number two? Yeah. Wow. I was like, okay, great. Drop him off in the afternoon. He came in and we were like, okay, great. We're going to take him for a walk because we're going to get him nice and tired. Good. Yeah. Uh, let him get him, get him to know us. And then we'll bring him back in. We'll give him like maybe a toy and just let him stay in the corner for a minute and just kind of uh, acclimate. And we went to go put the harness on him and immediately he tried to bite my husband. Mm. <laughs> like, Fun. and it was actively like, you could see the whites of his eyes. He was like, don't, don't come near with, near, like getting near him with a harness was just, you were going to lose a digit. Yeah. Um, wow. And he meant it. Yeah. So that's when I started going really in depth into your program and rewatching all of the sections about um, body language and reactivity versus aggression trying to figure out what is he reactive to versus what is he aggressive to um because it was weird he was reactive to certain things and aggressive towards other things yeah like yeah, it wasn't yeah. clear cut yeah it never um, is <laughs> <laughs> but he was our first dog like that and uh one day he actually did uh bite my husband uh, to the point where he had to visit the hospital. Um, and then a couple weeks later, he did bite my mom. Oh, wow. Uh, again, she did have to get evaluated. Neither of the situation uh, situations like ended in stitches, but he definitely meant what he was doing. Yeah. Um, so at that point, we had actually kind of given up for about a week. And I sent him away to another foster home yep. um, where he became completely uncontrollable. Mm. Uh, he was resource guarding even his crate. He had this ridiculous little reindeer stuffy that we had given him. Um, and he kept it holed up in his crate. And any time that the new fosters went to go and try and touch it, he got really nasty. Oh, wow. Uh, so he came back. <laughs> yeah. He came back our way because. Yeah, because he was doing better with least, you guys. Yeah, at least he's doing better here. And we started applying uh, your rules in a very hard and fast way. He's doing much better. Um, cool. He's submissive now to the point where he will literally just hang out on the back deck for hours and hours on end. Um, you know. He's perfectly content sitting out there with a marrow bone. Oh, we're actually allowed to touch the marrow bones now. Yes. Wow. And then the one day, um, one of the other volunteers from the rescue had come over. She was picking up some of the paw butter. I make paw butter for the rescue. Oh, cool. And uh, she, she was picking some up. And he, I don't know how, because he's a pretty bulky dog, 
but he got between the space between the doors and then he got out and he started bolting across the street and I didn't actually expect him to pay attention to me on recall (laughs) but part of my brain was like just say it anyways yeah and he listened and he stopped and he sat down and he let me put the leash on and so did you holler come or sit or I, I hollered his name first to at least yeah. get his attention. Yeah, yeah, great. And then he looked me dead in the eyes and immediately I just went, sit. And as if literally on cue, he just looks at me and he goes, oh, okay. And he just sat down. <laughs> yes. And, and it was like, oh my God, it's clicking. Yeah, um, when it mattered. And And then from that day, it was a like we could see him improving yes, just every nice. single day and we stuck to it and we did you know three sessions 15 minutes at a time yep um morning at lunch and you know before dinner um speak of the devil i can hear him <laughs> to be honest your training program is one of the most whole programs that I've seemed to find online. Like you just cover everything. Like realistically, you could break <laughs> down your to. program into like three other programs. Yeah. And make people go back and forth and it would still be completely reasonable for you. There's so much information in there. It's wonderful. Now maybe on YouTube, I'll post the full testimonial. It's an awesome video. We talked for like 15 or 20 minutes. Amazing girl, amazing story with that dog. Honestly, it makes my heart, (laughs) I'm so happy. Like, honestly, there's been so many, I'm sure so many more stories like that, but this one is is pretty exceptional. You just gotta do the work, but having that plan, having that guide, it, uh, it sure makes it a lot easier and a lot more fun of the process. Okay, so this time through, we're only taking on 100 students. There's only 100 spots, that's it. So if you don't join the early bird wait list, you're definitely not getting in. Uh, So join the early bird wait list. Although there's more than 100 people in there right now, don't let that deter you, right? Be on the early bird wait list. That way you're going to get the email. As soon as the shopping cart opens, you can get this awesome course and join us for this 2.0 version of the course. Super stoked. See you in the next one. Oh, and always know what you're loved. Bye now.